G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. This video is just a really quick video looking at converting between units in the metric system. Okay, so uh, sit back and enjoy. And if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. So we're gonna be having a look at length units, that is meters, kilometers, millimeters, even centimeters. We're gonna be having a look at weight measurements in terms of kilograms and grams, even milligrams. And we're gonna be looking at volume units where we're gonna be having a look at things like liters and milliliters. Okay, these are not the only units that get used, uh, but these are the ones we're gonna be mainly dealing with. So for the first type of units we're going to be having a look at, we're going to look at length units. Okay, so the most basic of length units that we have in the metric system is the meter. The meter, which is written as an M, is a symbol, was first defined uh, back in the 1700s, I'm pretty sure, where what they did is they got the North Pole and they looked at the equator and they basically divided it up 10 million times. They looked at the distance between these going through Paris and divided it up 10 million times and the length that they got was the meter. Okay, so other units that we have in length, we could have a thousand of these meters and it would be equal to one kilometer. Kilo means thousand and it's written like this. The abbreviation is KM. All right, so 1,000 meters is a kilometer. We also have this where we could divide up a meter a thousand times and we would end up with what's known as a millimeter, okay? And we'd write this as two Ms. All right, so converting between these guys is fairly simple. There's a thousand millimeters in a meter and there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, all right? So if there's a thousand of these in one of these to go from one to the other, uh, this is a thousand for one of these, we would divide by 1,000. There's a thousand of these guys in one of these to go from a thousand to one, we would divide by 1,000 also. To go back the other way, what we would do is we would multiply by 1,000. Okay, so this would be times 1,000, and to go from meters to millimeters, we would also multiply by 1,000. All right, so I'll give a couple of examples for you to solve. Say we had, uh, I want to know what 8,000 millimeters is equal to in terms of meters. Uh, I would like to know what 2.3 kilometers is in terms of also meters. And what about we do 5,090 meters into kilometers? All right, so give these a go and see if you can solve these. So first off, 8,000 millimeters to meters. We're going from millimeters to meters. We're dividing by 1,000. So 8,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to eight. All right, 2.3 kilometers. Okay, we're going from kilometers to meters. Okay, and we're seeing what that is in meters. Okay, there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer. We're going to be multiplying by 1,000 this time. So 2.3 times 1,000 becomes 2,300. Okay, 5,090 meters. How much is this in kilometers? We're going from meters to kilometers. We're dividing by 1,000. Okay, so we're dividing by 1,000. We're gonna get the answer of five. 0.09. Look, you could put a zero there if it makes you feel comfortable. It's not going to affect the answer. You're also going to notice that this zero stays here, okay? All we've really done is we've moved a decimal place. All right, so that is converting between units of measurement. You're going to see in a second that I've missed a particular one, though. A couple of you guys are going to say, well, what about the other particular unit that we're going to use? And I'm going to get to that in a little bit. At the very end, it's in centimeters. And you'll see why I get to this at the very end when I do. So the next type of measurement we're going to be having a look at is volume measurements where we're going to be having a look at liters, okay? You can see at the moment I've got millimeters and meters and kilometers up. We don't use meters for our volume. We're gonna be using liters. I'll change that in a second. But the other thing that's worth knowing is how they get uh, what a liter is. Now a liter is equal to 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters in the amount of liquid that would hold, the amount of uh, water that would hold, for instance. But I like to think about it as being a thousand liters is equal to how much fits into a cubic meter. So a meter by a meter by a meter, if I could draw that, meter by a meter by a meter, one meter, one meter, one meter, holds 1,000 liters of water. Okay, so, uh, and that's what volume is based around. So I'll get rid of that, but I've kept these up for a reason because this is fairly interchangeable in the metric system in terms of numbers. A liter, I could put here instead, instead of meters. A thousand liters is called a kiloliter, okay? And so I just get rid of the M there and I would end up with kiloliters. And you guessed it, if I divide a liter a thousand times, I end up with one milliliter. Okay, so you can go through and solve a few questions on these. Uh, now we don't actually use kiloliters too much, I must say we usually just use uh, milliliters and liters. 
it does get used. You have big things like gigaliters and that sort of deal. But let's stick simple for the minute. Okay, so if we have, say, a 375 can of Coke, how much is that in liters? Uh, what about we have uh, three liters? How much is that in mils? And what about we do what's 90 mil in liters? Okay, so see if you can solve these. All right, so 375 mils, we're going from mils to liters. We are dividing by 1,000. This divided by 1,000, we're going to move the decimal place three times. The decimal place is going to end up in front here. We're going to end up with 0 0.375. Okay, three liters. We're going from liters across to milliliters. This is multiplying by 1,000. Three times 1,000 is equal to 3,000 mil. All right, what about 90 mil to liters? We're going from mils to liters. We're going to be dividing by a thousand. So we're going to start with 90. We've got the decimal place here, and we're going to move the decimal place one, two, three times. Put a zero in there. This is equal to 0 0.09 liters. Okay, so that is volume. All right, but what about the next type of measurement where we're going to be having a look at weight, which is looking at kilograms? How do they work out what a kilogram is? Well, if you have one liter of water, that weighs one kilogram, okay? And that's how you work out how big a kilogram is. Let's have a look here. Uh, well, so the base unit of the weight is not kilograms though. It's just gonna be plain old grams, okay? And I'd write that down like this, gram. That's just a G. You can guess a thousand grams is equal to one kilogram. Okay, what do you reckon if I cut a gram up a thousand times, what I'll get? Well, I get rid of this liters here and I'm going to end up with instead a milligram. Pretty simple, right? And that's how this works. Here's the metric system, it's really easy, isn't it? By the way, the one I haven't got here is a thousand kilograms. If you have a thousand kilos, I could add this one as well. You could, you know, divide by a thousand or whatever like that. But a thousand kilograms is what we call a ton. Okay. Uh, and then, all right, and going back this way, you would multiply by a thousand. So there's a thousand kilos in a ton. All right, so let's do a few questions on these. What about, first off, we have how much is uh, 250 milligrams in grams? Okay, what about uh, 1,350 grams? What is that in kilograms? And also, what about we do um, 2.5 tons? How much is that in kilograms? You're going to see, we could do the bigger ones where we're bouncing between, but I, I kind of reckon that's a little bit, a bit cute when they do that in maths. Uh, you don't often have to bounce between, uh, you know, say kilograms and milligrams so much. It's usually just a, a conversion between these guys. So I'm going to largely leave that out. Okay, so we're going from milligrams to grams. Milligrams to grams, you're going to see we're dividing by 1,000. So 250 divided by 1,000. We're moving the decimal place three times. One, two, three, dividing by 1,000, 0 0.25. Ah, uh, 1,350 grams, and we're going across the kilograms. We're dividing by 1,000 once again. So we're moving the decimal place one, two, three times. We're ending up with 1.35 kilograms. 2.5 tons, we're going to kilograms now. So there's 1,000 kilos in a ton. Uh, 2.5 times 1,000 is 2,000. 500 kilograms. So that's pretty simple, right? Uh, look, and that's how the metric system works. This could be things like even you could think about with computers, bytes, kilobytes, and then gets into, say, uh, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, each time going up by a factor of a thousand. We also can go smaller and smaller. We divide by a thousand, we divide by a thousand, we get milli, uh, say, milligrams. We could divide by a thousand and go into micrograms. Divide by a thousand again, in micrograms, we get to nanograms, okay? Uh, and so on and so forth. But there is one type of unit I have missed out, and I am going to talk about that right now. Okay, so we've moved back to uh, length units again, because there's a particular unit I want to talk about in the length units, which I haven't talked about yet, and that is centimetres. Okay, centimetres, I'll write that down. Uh, centimetres, okay, is written as cm. All right, now centimetres are a little bit different because everything we've done so far has been either dividing or multiplying by a thousand, and it's fairly simple. But centimetres, I find, throw a lot of students because centimetres are not where we're dividing by a thousand. In fact, what we have in one metre, it is equal to a hundred centimetres. And uh, one centimetre is equal, therefore, 
to 10 millimeters. Centimeters are just used because they're a handy little uh, unit. They're about probably, I guess, the width of one of your fingers. Now look, it'd be easy to ignore centimeters. They don't fit the particular trend here. However, they do come up a whole awful lot. So I'm, I'm gonna include them in what we're doing here. All right, so say I was saying uh, I wanted to know 30 centimeters and how much that was in millimeters. Or say I had uh, 270 millimeters and I wanted to know what that is in centimeters. I could also say I wanna know what 195 centimeters is equal to in meters. So let's give this a go right now. Okay, so 30 centimeters, we're gonna to go to millimeters. So we're going from centimeters to millimeters. You're gonna see that we're getting 10 times as big. So 30 times 10 is 300. Uh, we're going from millimeters here, 270 millimeters to centimeters, uh, millimeters to centimeters. We're going from 10 to one, we're going to divide by 10. So 270 divided by 10 is equal to 27. Uh, we're gonna 195 centimeters to meters, centimeters to meters, there's 100 centimeters in a meter, we're going to go and divide by 100. So 195 divided by 100, we're gonna move the decimal place two times. One, two, we get 1.95 meters. So that's just a really, really brief, easy look at converting between units in the metric system. What did you think, nice and easy? Please let us know in the comments uh, if you like it. And if you do like the video, please remember to like. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully that video was of some help to you. We'll see you next time. Bye.